Oh, hey there. That there, an Arduino there. Hmm. <clears throat> well, it is about midnight. Oh. I'm gonna try to keep this a quick short video. I'll get back into that jazz here in a minute, but I want to share something. I find it very important, and I want to share with others. It's been a huge help in, with my myself, my personal life goals and achieving things, and I want to share it. Many, many years ago, I was working with a good friend of the family. Oh, Terry, I love you to death. Rest in peace. Uh, you've taught me a lot of things, but this was probably one of the biggest, uh, by far, helped me achieve things in my life, and that is... When you come to me and you know, I was like, I can't do that, you'd be like, well, why? Instead of telling yourself you can't do it, figure out a solution to it. Find out an answer to it. You know, he, he, I guess he taught me that your brain is a very powerful tool. And if you say you can't do it, you just shut it off. If you look at a problem and you try to find a solution to it, you turn that son of a bitch on and it can do some pretty outstanding, amazing things if you let it. You just got to turn it on. You control it. It doesn't control you. You control it. It's very powerful, and you can put that son of a bitch to use. Everybody has the ability to do this. You just need to do that, and it's hard. You just want to be lazy and walk away from things. You got problems, you just want to throw a towel in. You get obstacles, you just quit. I promise you, next time you come across something, just try to tell yourself, what do I need to do to come up with a solution to this problem? Anyway... So, back to this jazz. Oh, and uh, also, I want to give a quick shout out to a few people. Paul with Learn Electronics, Paul McCorder, um, Programming Electric uh, Electronic Academy. I wrote a couple names down here. Great Scott, you guys have some awesome channels. But uh, Paul with Learn Electronics, I want to definitely say thank you to the time you put into your your videos and explaining things to people. You don't just say this is how how you do something to get this effect. You go into everything to teach, like for example, a transistor. You teach people what the transistor is, how it came about, the theory behind it, how it works, and it gives somebody a great building block, to a, a foundation to build from. And the, I guess I would compare it to, you teach people how to paint and not paint by numbers, if that makes sense. Anyway, thank you guys for that content you can share. YouTube is an awesome platform. Oh my god, I've done so many things and learned so much stuff. I was around from the beginning of YouTube, I just never did much with uploading content to it, but as long as you don't use it to waste time or for bad reasons, YouTube and Google, oh my god, are awesome and powerful. Anyway, back to this jazz. So I have a program on another microcontroller. And, uh... Let me say, I've been learning programming, C++, and just started getting into Python. And I wish I could have learned this stuff a long time ago. I'm in my mid-30s, and it's awesome what I've learned you can do with this stuff. Years ago, I started working with electronics, and my dad was an electrician. And he taught me a lot when I was real little, like six, eight, nine years old, building FM transmitters and things. And I just did nothing. Well, I got my ham radio license and then did nothing with it for quite a while. Um, so I'm getting back into it to make a program to do something. And I can't talk about what that does, because my ultimate goal is to get uh, this product out on the market and patented. But I can say there is a problem, and it's got a, a switch that is a false positive, and I need to overcome that. And what I tried doing was adding another switch. And this here is a PIR sensor, slightly modified. I had this little Dell monitor, that was issue one, as it was picking up sensor, uh, sent readings from here, here, there, there, and everywhere. Um, so I tucked that off, put a Gatorade bottle cap on it, drilled a hole in it, taped it all up, so no heat signal from a body can get into it unless you're right over that narrow focal point, which that worked, that was great. But the other problem I ran into is once it triggered, it goes into a timeout. So, uh, you see them like on motion sensing lights outside. It picks up a heat source and it turns on. Well, that goes into a timeout. 
In this case, it sends a logic out and then it goes and tries to time out and delay. Well, the two potentiometers, one is the sensitivity, great, no big deal. Uh, the second is uh, the timeout time. Well, cranked all the way down, it only goes down to about three or five seconds timeout. Well, guess what? If it times out and then the other trigger button is hit and pressed, whatever, that one's in a timeout. It's not going to work for the if statement with a double anchor stand for if this and this are true. So back to the drawing board. Dug out uh, this LDR. Um, put in a pin tube so it's only allowing the laser to come in, not ambient light, whatever. And I have uh, the laser shining in on it. So my program here, I'll just go through this really quick. There's some integers set up in the top here. And some pin mode set. Serial monitors, you can see it on the screen, that's that 27 being red. Then the loop, I'm taking this integer value here, which is set at zero. Those are pins. So the zero, actually, an integer for those that haven't gotten into programming much, and I'm still very new at this. An integer is nothing more than a storage bin to store a number. So a computer can only do one thing at a time. That's it, just one thing. It's just the computer now, God, they just go fast and it can do so many commands at one time. So if you were to slow it down, it can do one thing. Move one number to here, move one number to there, put a number here, pull a number from there. That's it. But it does it so damn quick. I think this processor is either 8 or 16 megahertz, so 8 or 16 million times a second it can move codes or numbers and read and whatever. Uh, so fast it's like imperceivably like, like there's no times gone by. Losing my train of thought here. Uh, so integers are a storage number from negative 32,000 and some hundred to positive 32,000 and some hundred. Unassigned can go larger than that, and uh, long unassigned can go up to like 4 billion. So they can be pretty big, but this is all I'm using for here. So set the pin modes, then the void loop. Value is equal to analog read laser, so value becomes whatever this reading is. Then there's a slight delay, and I'm going to serial print it over to the monitor here. I only have a slight delay so it doesn't go by like a gazillion mile an hour. So if value is greater than 400, it's going to serial print this word, these words up here on the screen. Trigger 2 equals true. So if you watch that monitor over here, you see? And if you hold it there, you can see it's going by fast, but it's like 900. So anyway, so that's that if statement. And then here's another if statement. If digital read button equals high and analog read value is greater than 400, then do this. Digital write LED high delay, just so I can see it on. That's it. Else, if that is not met, did I write LED low, close the statements. And loop through back to the beginning of the loop right here. So, this will turn on a blue light. This is basically my false positive. Uh, uh, showing my false positive. Here's the other sensor. So, only one happens, it's not going to turn the green light on. Both have to happen to turn my green light on. So it's using two sensors, two switches, to turn on uh, with a if statement, with an amper stand, amper stand, if this and this are met, then do that. But I mean, programming is awesome. I wish I would have got into it sooner. You can do a lot with it. Uh, I guess I better wrap up on this video. We're at uh, nine minutes, so yeah, next time you have a problem, don't shut your mind off. Just try to look at the problem and be like, hmm, I watched this video one day from this Brian guy and he taught me to look for a solution. You can achieve a lot, you really can. He that think it can achieve it.